When you take a photo now, you see it instantly with just the push of a button. This is all thanks to digital cameras. They were invented in 1975. It didn't used to be like that, though. For a long time, if you wanted to take a photo, you had to take the photo and then get the film developed. The process of taking a photo using a film camera and developing the film is very different from a digital camera. It takes a lot more time and work to use a film camera, and if you take a photo then you don't know whether it will turn out good or not once you have developed it. When you develop it, it is usually too late to get that same shot again. But there is something about the photos that are taken using film cameras. So you see the time and the work that the artist put into taking that shot, and all the time that they spent developing it. Uh, I've been in the Darkroom Photography Club for about three years. Um, I had experience with creating visual art as far as like drawing and painting, watercolor, and things like that. But I never really had any like formal experience with just photography. I, and I've done videography as well with my mother. But uh, like I had my phone camera and I'd like take pictures, but I never really considered myself a photographer. And it was pretty fun to like take it to the next step and you know, like process it as an actual art form. Well, we go out, um, all of us, or sometimes only like two or three of us, on a um, like a like a like a shooting expedition where we go off to like Bill's house. Once we went to this museum hotel exhibit kind of thing and took pictures there, and uh, that's where we take most of the pictures. And to me, that's like one of the most fun parts because like I get to be with all these cool people and we get to take pictures and it's just fun. I've always been really interested in film photography just because to me it's always seemed like such an interesting niche of people who do darkroom photography and it's such, it's such an interesting thing to be able to talk about and like be able to learn about. To me it seems like almost an intersection between like a science and an art because there's like so many little exact things you have to know like the ratios of water to chemicals or however long you have to put this thing in this machine or whatever but and yet at the end after all the scientific process it's still kind of artistic because you can kind of be liberal with what you want to do with which material and at the end you're left with a piece of art and I think it's that's pretty that's pretty interesting uh, things I really like taking pictures of I like taking pictures of people a lot because they can like communicate so much emotion because I also do like performance art and like theater and I think there's a little bit of an intersection there between like character and acting and like photography because you can capture so much in a pose or a gesture 